Well, hello there, book club. Dan here from One Man Book Club with um, a book that you might have heard of before. I, in fact, you probably have. This is The Help by Katherine Stockett. There was a movie called The Help that's based on this book. And I haven't watched the movie because I like to read the books before I see the movies, but I've heard that the movie is pretty good. My daughter was asked to read this book as part of a book group. And I never like to read my kids well, I mean, I try to not let my kids read books I haven't read myself because I want to be able to have conversations with them, particularly if there's challenging material in the books, which I suspected was going to be in, in the help. So I was happy to have her read it. I just wanted to read it along with her. So I decided it was time for me to read the help too. Now, I dedicate this review to all of those who think that race relations in the United States magically got better for uh, for our country after Martin Luther King. They didn't. And here's my recommendation. Next time you're in Atlanta, Georgia, USA, don't just go to the World of Coke. Don't just go to the aquarium downtown. Take time to go to the other building in that same plaza. It's the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. You'll enjoy the aquarium. You'll have fun in the tasting room at the World of Coke. Make sure you try Beverly first, if you know, you know. But the National Center for Civil and Human Rights will change you. It will change your family too. The center documents the US civil rights movement and reveals the human rights challenges that continue to persist around the world today. You think you know? I would probably suggest that you don't. One powerful experience, Don Headphones and participate in a lunch counter sit-in simulation to put yourself in the shoes of the nonviolent protesters in 1960. Holy cow. It's been a handful of years for me since I participated in it. I'm still moved. It was, it's a significantly uh, impactful experience. And reading books like The Help are important too. They add to building your mind around the history of the United States around race relations, this history that we maybe would all like to ignore, but it's imperative that we do not. The help is set in Jackson, Mississippi in the early 1960s. After Rosa Parks, but before Martin Luther King read, led the march on Washington and told everyone about his dream. The help tells the story of a black woman, uh, not just one black woman, actually several black women, who worked for white families, cleaning house, making meals, and caring for their children. Through the eyes of these ladies, the help, we experience the prejudice, the desperation, the frustration, and the injustices that will forever color that period. Once the plot was clear and the conflict was established, I found the characters so excellent and the story so engrossing I unexpectedly discovered I actually couldn't put it down. I needed to know what was going to happen. I needed to know what was going to happen at the end. It ends wonderfully, by the way. There is some sensitive content just like I expected there would be. So, if, um, so you may want to know about it before going in. Obviously, the book is about being black in the 60s in the South of, in the United States. And that itself makes this book pretty heavy. There are several instances of the N-word. Um, there's also some instances of the SH word. There's a scene where a woman experiences quite a messy and descriptive miscarriage. There's also a scene where two women see a, a naked and aroused man outside their home and they confront him and he's gross and things get violent and this man's parts get some uncomfortable attention. Um, all that to say, I recommend the help probably best for 16 and up, although my daughter was 12 years 12 uh, when she read it and uh, read it for a book club and, and I was comfortable having conversations with her about the challenging material. Now, if you haven't read the help yet, you probably should. I suggest you do. Seeing the movie, seeing the movie doesn't count. You always got to read the book. Books are always better. Anyway, this is the help. Um, this is The Help by Catherine Stockett. I enjoyed it. I think you will too. I think it's an important book. Happy reading, everyone.